When the weather's hot and steamy, the last thing you want is to have problems out of your air conditioning unit, and boy, we've had a hot summer. Here are a few tips to help you maintain and keep your AC running with the least amount of problems. One of the first things that we want to do is inspect the outside unit. Make sure that we keep it clean and debris free. A lot of times grass will get in there like we have on this one. We want to get the fins behind the protective covering. There's aluminum fins in there. We can do that very simply with a garden hose. We take it and spray it off and it's just as easy as that. What happens is, is the unit draws in air from the sides and expels it out the top. So the cleaner we keep this, the more easily it works and the better cooling that you have in your house. Remember to change your furnace filter. Even though we call it a furnace filter, it's the same ductwork that we use for your air conditioning. So now you not only have to change it in the winter time, but we have to change it in the summer time and it looks like we're overdue. We want to keep all plants and shrubs one to two feet away from the sides of the unit because remember, it's drawing in air from the sides and we don't want to impede that. Oh, my wife is going to kill me. This is a peony bush. Make sure your air conditioning unit is level. If it gets a little bit off kilter, it puts a little bit more stress on the blades and then before you know it, your fan can start going kind of wonky on you. We seem to be pretty good here. And this one we definitely need to do a little bit of leveling on. Make sure and turn your cooling down before it gets too hot in the house. If you let it get 80, 80, 85 degrees in the house, you're not doing yourself any favors or saving any money because you're going to try to cool it down to 75. It's going to take forever and it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Watch for freezing or frosted refrigerant piping as it connects to your furnace here or even to the unit outside. Frosted piping can mean one of two things. Either you have a dirty filter and you're not allowing enough airflow to come through or more than likely you are low on Freon or low on refrigerant. Running your unit with frosted piping can cause you problems and it can cost you more money in the long run. Until next time, working to keep your home healthy and safe, I'm Jeff Lee.